today we're going to look at another type of an active directory attack which is called golden ticket i believe a lot of us will start the one already but this is also a very common type of an attack and it's a very very sophisticated type of cyber attack so i feel like it's something i should do a demo on and just talk a little bit about it so before we dive into the demo part of it i just want to talk briefly about what golden ticket is and you know, what are the uh, ways or details on how we can perform this attack. So, Golden Ticket is a subscribed cyber attack that exploits weaknesses within the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, or Windows Kerberos authentication system. So, what Kerberos does is that is a protocol that is an authentication protocol precisely that is widely used within the Windows environment to provide secure authentication between the clients and the server. So what happens is that a golden ticket allows this attacker to generate a KBLS ticket, a ticket called TGT, KBLS TGT for any user in the domain. So what happens is that after effectively granting them full control over the domain without needing the user's password or any form of valid information. So we can see how this attack can be very, very sophisticated and how do we, you know, how can we perform this attack? What are the details still? The first thing we need to do is to have a compromised initial machine. Um, so like expert vulnerability, stolen credentials, machine, any kind of, you know, technique just to compromise or have initial access on the system. So from there, they will go to move forward to extract the KRB TGT hash and tell it hash. So this can be used, so this can be done using cards uh, to extract the hash uh, from the memory of the domain controller. So, and also this will require administrative privilege on the compromised machine. Then the last part I will talk about is the forging the etiquette. So with the KRB TGT hash, the attacker can create a forged TGT with arbitrary user information, so just user name, security identifiers, ID, group members, and ETC. So basically we also need um, a domain SID uh, in this to perform this action. Then after that, once the ticket is forged, it's encrypted with KRB TGT account hash. So making it, uh, uh, you can use it to kind of disguise from a legitimate TGT. So that is just brief well, explanation on what good ticket is. And you can also you know, go go research more about it and how this attack works and learn more about it. But that is just a little bit of which I would like to share on this type of attack. So to proceed, let's go forward and uh, share my screen so we can see the demo part of it. And uh, I'm going to use my short here. Uh, which particular user which also have a straight up privilege. So the first thing we want to do is to get the domain inside. They already have found the promise well, to get this one. Then we're going to use the card as the second tool to perform the action. So let me switch to our show. So in the commercial show, so I'm going to load it here. We need to extract the uh, domain SID first. So let's get so we have the domain SID. It's part of, part of what we would. So we're going to copy this one and save it on the test file side here. So after that, the next thing we need to do is to run that. So we have really parts running. So I'm going to copy a command that we're going to use. So we're going to use this command to dump the ATLM into our I mean, ATLM hash for KRBTGT. So we are spending it. So say this is saying KRBTGT user. And is our domain name. 
So we have, let's scroll up a little bit. So we have the hash, basically, here for the KRPT is the username. So I'm going to copy this hash. Put it on the files here. So uh, the last thing we're going to do is to run this slash command for the cards again. Uh, modify the it was second. Let me just modify the SID and the copy and paste the SID and the a match. Okay, so I'm going to copy the command and just paste it. You don't have to type everything out. So this is a command we're going to use. I'm going to change or uh, load this one. This is the word flight version. Okay. Let's see one. Say this. One second. Okay, this is the modified version here. So, this is a command. This is the NTLM hash uh, vocabulary. This is the domain SID. Anyway. Uh, create a for the administrator and run this and domain name. So, so now we're going to run the command. Let's see. So, as you can see, it says building ticket for administrator and society is not bad for this current section. So, now let's exit from here. Uh, you can use this command to check, validate that. So, you can see we are able to get some thread. Well, administrator uh, at the domain. So now the last thing we need to do is to type our shell section. I will also specify our domain computer. We want to access. So we be able to we are able to log into the domain controller. After our video, no. creating a valid ticket, I'll be able to enter the browser session and authenticate on the DC here. Yeah. So, um, there's nothing to uh, there's nothing to go for that. For we just want to show us how this attack works and how we can abuse these privileges or this or this become these configurations. Whenever we are doing a pen test or doing a CTL or any active challenge, whatever it is, just to give us shed more light on what code etiquette looks like. So I believe we learned something and uh, looking forward to your comments and the feedbacks as well. And I will see you on the next video on another type of an active duration attack. Take care, everyone. Bye.